Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, marital missioner, and welcome to our daily gospel reading and reflection. Today's gospel reading is according to St. Luke, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. Jesus journeyed from one town and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. Accompanying him were the twelve, and some women who had been cured of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Harold Stewart, Chusa, and Susanna and many others who provided for them out of their resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Have you heard of the term helicopter parenting? If you have not, the expression in short means parents who hovers over their children, always on alert, and who swoops in to rescue them at the first sign of trouble or disappointment. The term was first coined in 1990 by Foster Klein and Jim Fay in their book, Parenting with Love and Logic. And one major behavior of a helicopter parent is that of autonomy limiting when parents are preventing their children from making their own mistakes, controlling their lives for them, and failing to support their decisions. A study by researcher Neil Montgomery a psychologist at Keene State College in New Hampshire, found that overprotective parents might have a lasting impact on their child's personality by prolonging childhood and adolescence. So why do I bring this all up? Well, God the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ is not a helicopter God. He respects our free will, understands and forgives all the mistakes that we make, and wants us to be empowered and mature. And above all, God loves and trusts us to provide whatever is necessary for us, our salvation when it is needed. And again, when that time comes, it is completely up to us to whether or not accept, even though our choices may break his heart. But God will never leave our side. Constantly with us come hell or high water. He will be with us through it all, even to send his only son in order that we may have life. This is the good news that Jesus is preaching and proclaiming and now handed the missionary torch over to us to continue until the end of time. Thank you for listening to today's gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and empowering day. If you enjoyed today's gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.